Hello children. Today we are going to study maths and this is your maths teacher Ms. S. Fatima and I will be teaching you shapes today. So without any further ado, let's get started. We are going to study shapes today. There are three types of line. Line segment, line and array. Now what is a line segment? Shortest distance between two points joined is called a line segment. As you can see on the screen, there are two points and both of the points are joined by a single line. That is a line segment. Any two points which is joined by a line is called a line segment. What is a line? A line is formed when a line segment is extended on both the sides. When the line segment is extending, that is, as you can see on the screen, there are two arrows which is extending on both the directions. That is a line. That means that line can go on and on and on without stopping but a line segment has its distance. Now what is a ray? When a line segment is extended in one direction only it is called ray. As you can see in the screen the third line there's only one arrow on the end of the line. It doesn't have on both of the sides. The arrow is not on both of the sides, only one side, which means that the line is extending only from one side. And this is called a ray. A ray doesn't extend from both the sides. Now moving on to plane shapes. What are plane shapes? There are four types of plane shapes as you can see on the screen. Circle, rectangle, triangle and square. A plane shape it means it is also called as 2D shape because it has only width and length. It doesn't have height. That is why it's called plane shapes. It is simply flat on the surface and plane it doesn't have any kind of height with it that it is called a plane shapes. And the 2D in it means one dimension is length the second dimension is width now coming to the side and corner of plane shapes as you can see on the screen there are two types of plane shapes present here circle and a triangle now the line segment in a plane shape is called the side but can you see any kind of side in the circle no circle is curved in nature it is circle that is round it doesn't have any kinds of sides and it doesn't have any kind of corner that is why the number of sides in a circle is zero and the number of corner or you can call vertices or vertex is zero but in a triangle there are three sides can you see the three sides yes there are three sides and since it has a side it also has corners there are three corners in a triangle or you can say vertex or vertices. There are three vertices in a triangle. The point at which two sides meet is called its corner or vertex. And the plural of vertex is vertices. Now coming on to the side and corner of rectangle and square. As you can see, there is rectangle and the square present on the screen. Can you count the number of uh, rectangular sides? Yes. There are four sides in a rectangle. Up and down, left and right. Since there are four sides, there must be four corners also. Because a point at which the sides meet is called a vertex or corner. So when right meets the up one, that's the one corner. When left meets the up one, that's the second corner. When right meets the downside, it's the third. When left meets the downside, it's the fourth corner. And opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. The up and down sides are same in length. The right and left side are same in length. Now coming down to square. Since we have studied rectangle and we have seen that rectangle has four sides, just like rectangle, square also has four sides. 
but the difference between rectangle and square is all the sides in square is of same length is of same size but in rectangle opposite sides were equal and in the case of square all the sides are equal so how many sides are there in the square children there are four sides in the square and how many corners just like we had in the rectangle we also have four corners in square now coming to solid shapes a solid has edge vertex and a face as you can see in the picture this is a square but it also has extended sides the side of a solid is called its edge can you see the edge drawn in the picture the point where two or more edges meet is called a vertex or corner of the solid as we have already studied the vertex and corner in the plane shapes the surface of the solid is called its face and in the next more slides we are going to see some of the solid shapes cuboid first we are going to learn about cuboid can you see a cuboid here yes a cuboid has the number of edges 12 vertices 8 number of faces 6 up face down face left face right face front face backward face six faces corners four corners in the above four corners in the down edges edges are the sides so in the picture you can count the edges 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 there are 12 edges coming down this is a cylinder as we can see a cylinder has two edges can you see the corners can you see the sides yes that is the edge the curved part now how many curved part are there there are one main curved face and two flat faces a number of vertices or corners as you can see there are no corners because there is no side which is meeting somewhere but we do have edge there are two edges now in the next picture you can see two more solid shapes the first one is a cone and the second one is a sphere How many edges are there in a cone? There's only one edge. A number of vertices, one vertex, a vertex. Number of flat surface. There's only one flat surface, which is down the circle part. It's also called plane surface. And number of curved surface, the round curved surface, as you can see, it's the middle pink one. It's also one. and moving on to sphere how many edges can you see in the sphere now sphere is a shape of circle so there are no edges in a sphere how many vertices since there are no sides there is no corner right so zero vertices and flat faces there is no flat face but a curved face yes we do have curved face and that is one So this is it. These are the some more solid shapes that we have studied. Now moving on, we'll study what is the relation between plane figures and solid. Now coming to the relation between plane figures and solids. What do we see here? There are two pictures. One is the picture of a cone and the other is a picture of a circle. What is the relation between a cone and a circle? Yes, the base of the cone has the shape of a circle. 
but a cone is a solid figure and a circle is a plane figure which means a cone has a has a height but the circle doesn't have any height now coming to the next picture yes this is a picture of a cuboid and a rectangle now what is common between cuboid and rectangle yes the base of a cuboid has the shape of a rectangle that is the common thing between both of them but the difference is rectangle is a plane figure flat figure it doesn't have any kind of height but a cuboid has a height and a width and a length so in today's class what have we studied in today's class shapes there are four plane figures circle rectangle triangle and square and we have studied what are solid shapes how many edges faces and vertices do we do they have okay children so for today we'll keep it till here in the next class i'll see you soon till then be at home and be safe take care thank you